In this film, we're going to explore some of the issues involved in organic farming on the Isle of Man. I went to Balladool near Castletown to meet Andrew Moore, who farms organically. I started by asking him what organic farming actually means. Well, you have to farm without the aid of uh, insecticides or fungicides or artificial fertilizers that you would normally put on the ground. You just have to use natural manure, like we've got round us here now, the dung that the cattle have made in the winter time, you use that. And you're also allowed to use naturally occurring phosphate. There seems to be an area in North Africa, Tunisia somewhere, where there must be a mountain of this natural phosphate and they just dig it out, grind it up, and then you can use that to spread it in the normal way with a spinner on the back of the tractor. And why do you farm organically and why do you think that more farmers don't farm that way? <sighs> I, just personal choice for me, selfish reasons I guess. I was concerned about what I was eating. Um, if you go back to the 70s, uh, growth hormones were permitted then in beef. You could put a growth hormone in a beast that was performing poorly. But I must emphasize they're not allowed now. But at that time, I uh, started to buy my own beef back, a side of beef, and we'd eat it here. And it just progressed from there. Organic farming insists on having a crop rotation. Well, I still farmed in that method, old-fashioned method, where you did have a crop rotation. And uh, it wasn't a difficult decision to make to go organic, because all I had to do was stop using the sprays. Have a traditional seven-year rotation. If we started with a field is in grass, if you plough that out of grass in the springtime, it'll be sown in spring wheat. When that crop is finished, the following spring, it'll be dunged and ploughed, and that's when I'd put the green crop in, which would be vegetables, turnips for the cattle, and potatoes. When that's finished with, the following spring, the field's ploughed again, and it's sown in spring oats. And just immediately after you've sown the spring oats, following day, hopefully, you sow the grass seeds, a mixture of grasses and clovers, which uh, grows alongside the oats, and the oats acts as a bit of a nurse crop to protect the young grasses and clovers. And the clovers actually uh, a replacement <coughs> for some of the, the fertilizers that yes, you use these yes. days. Yes, yes, clover right? will fix nitrogen in the ground. And uh, that year, the same year that you sow the oats, you harvest that. And the following year, the grasses and clovers come into their own, and they are your hay crop or silage, whatever you wanted to make of it. Then, when that's finished with, it's free to be grazed then by cattle or sheep, whatever stock you have, and it'll be in grass then for three more years. Now, Andrew, I understand that you rear a particularly interesting breed of cattle. Can you tell me about that? They are distinctive, I suppose, yes, and that's special. They do say now that they're a bit of an endangered species. Belted Galloways, black each end and a broad white band round the middle. Like and and a that's, peppermint, the, yeah. that's the gizzard, the name of the belt. The belt, yeah, the belted gallery, yeah. Now, also, I, I understand that while you used to have a, a farm shop that you mm -hmm. had in, in the yard here, recently, since the farmer's markets have come back to the Isle of Man, you started uh, working with the farmer's markets, supplying the farmer's markets, and you have a stall, uh, if, if certainly, at a Douglas Farmer's Market. How's that going? Going very well. Um, it started, really, with the Green Man, in, on the Patrick Road, that, that was the first farmer's market. And from that, there was one started up in Ramsey, which goes every Saturday morning. And then there's now one every first Saturday of every month in the Villa Marina. And that's a great success. And what kind of produce do you take to sell there? Well, I take spuds and all the vegetables that I grow, carrots, turnips, parsnips, beetroots, cauliflowers, three varieties of cabbage, just whatever I've got. Well, thanks very much for, for having a conversation with me, Andrew. It's been very interesting. Um, and I'm sure that the students who are watching this will have learned an awful lot. I hope Thank so. You. Thank you.